lot of people talk about uh, this artificial womb. So I went and checked it out. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a concept. You know, um, right now, it's not something that they um, are currently working on publicly, meaning um, doing it and letting the public know. Um, if they're doing it behind the scenes, I wouldn't doubt it. You know, not trying to be a cons uh, conspiracy uh, theorist, but I wouldn't doubt it because a lot of things that, um, as far as technology, um, a lot of things are used before they are introduced to the public. Like even now you see they're using uh, mechanical or robotic dogs. They've been had those for at least 10, 15 years now. Uh, I know that for a fact. Um, so are they doing this? Like I said, not publicly, but um, I want to show y'all the video that everyone is tripping off of. I don't know if y'all seen it, but Figure we can watch a short snippet of it together. Introducing Ectolife, the world's YouTube. first artificial womb yeah. facility, powered entirely by renewable energy. Ectolife allows infertile couple to conceive a baby and become the true biological parents of their own offspring. It's a perfect solution for women who had their uterus surgically removed due to cancer or other complications. With Ectolife, premature births and C-sections will be a thing of the past. Ectolife is designed to help countries that are suffering from severe population decline, including up, Japan, Bulgaria, South Korea, and many others. Hey, I dropped the link if you want to come up. The facility features 75 highly equipped labs. Each state-of-the-art lab can accommodate up to 400 growth pods or artificial wombs. Every pod is designed to replicate the exact conditions that exist inside the mother's uterus. A single building can incubate up to 30,000 lab-grown babies per year. Ectolife allows your baby to develop in an infection-free environment. The pods are made of materials that prevent germs from sticking to their surfaces. Every growth pod features sensors that can monitor your baby's vital signs, including heartbeat, temperature, blood pressure, breathing rate, and oxygen saturation. The artificial intelligence-based system also monitors the physical features of your baby and reports any potential genetic abnormalities. The pods are equipped with a screen that displays real-time data on the developmental progress of your baby. These data are sent directly to your phone so you can track your baby's health from the comfort of your zone. The app also provides you with a high-resolution live view of your baby's development. A special section in the app allows you to watch a time-lapse of your baby's growth and share it directly with your loved ones. Because babies can recognize language and learn new words while still in the womb, Ectolife Growth Pods feature internal speakers that play a wide range of words and music to your baby. Through the app, you can choose the playlist that your baby listens to. You can also directly sing to your baby and make them familiar with your voice before birth. Our goal is to provide you with an intelligent offspring that truly reflects your smart choices. Ectolife improves your bonding experience with your baby. Thanks to a 360 degrees camera that's fitted inside your baby's growth pod, you can use your virtual reality headset to explore what it's like to be in your baby's place. See what they see and hear what they hear. Using a wireless haptic suit connected to your baby's growth pod, you will be able to sense their kicks in the womb and share this experience with your friends and family members. So, <laughs> I think a lot of this is why people freaking out because it's like um, you're trying to replicate um, the whole experience that a woman has. Not only are you creating life, but you're still trying to give uh, people the experience of having a baby in your stomach. I mean, if not more, because, I mean, you actually get to see the baby. You know, now you put a vest on, you can feel it kick, and not only you can feel it, but now the husband or the spouse can feel it. Now family members can feel the baby kick, you know. So they they trying to not only take the experience um, and give, it, give you the experience, but also um, trying to take away the experience because it's a bond created between a parent i mean a child and a mother you know while the baby is in the womb and you can't 
replicate that. It is nothing you can do um, artificially to replace that. But they trying their damn the same. <laughs> I mean, so. But remember, this is a concept. I'll show you where I got that from after this. I'm gonna play a little bit more of this though. <laughs> With EctoLife, your baby will receive the best nutrients that can support their growth. Each group of pods is connected to two central bioreactors. The first bioreactor contains nutrients and oxygen, which are supplied to your baby through an artificial umbilical cord. This bioreactor also contains a liquid solution that serves as the ambiotic fluid that surrounds babies in the mother's uterus. It's rich of vital hormones, growth factors, and antibodies that sustain your baby's growth and development. Thanks to a system controlled by artificial intelligence, each baby receives custom nutrients tailored to their needs. The second bioreactor is designed to eliminate any waste products produced by the babies. The artificial umbilical cord helps the babies to release their waste products into the second bioreactor. With the help of a delicate layer of engineered enzymes, the second bioreactor can then recycle waste products and turn them back into useful nutrients. This way, the facility ensures a steady and sustainable supply of fresh nutrients to your baby. With Ectolife, miscarriage and low sperm count are a thing of the past. Prior to placing the fertilized embryo of your baby inside the growth pod, in vitro fertilization is used to create and select the most viable and genetically superior embryo, giving your baby a chance to develop without any biological hurdles. And if you want your baby to stand out and have a brighter future, our Elite Package offers you the opportunity to genetically engineer the embryo before implanting it into the artificial womb. Thanks to CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing tool, you can edit any trait of your baby through a wide range of over 300 genes. Okay, what? By genetically engineering a set of genes, the Elite Package allows you to customize your baby's eye color, hair color, skin tone, physical strength, height, and level of intelligence. It also allows you to fix any inherited genetic diseases that are part of your family history so that your baby and their offspring will live a healthy, comfortable life free of genetic diseases. Say goodbye to the pain of childbirth and birth-related muscle contractions. Actolife oh, provides cool. you a safe, oh, yeah. pain-free alternative that helps you deliver your baby without stress. The delivery process is smooth, convenient, and can be done with just a push of a button. After discharging the amniotic fluid from the artificial womb, you will be able to easily remove your baby from the growth pod. Everything is perfectly designed so you and your partner can enjoy the delivery process. <laughs> To ensure full transparency, our post-delivery free DNA paternity test helps you confirm the genetic identity of your baby so you can return home knowing that your baby is genetically yours. You don't have to worry about power cuts or carbon footprint. Actolife uses highly efficient, clean, renewable energy consisting of solar and wind power. The highly advanced pods operate with minimal energy needs, making it easy for your baby to make it to full term without any complications. And for those who want a more convenient solution, Ectolife is made accessible so your life can be easier. Thanks to our miniaturized bioreactors and long-lasting batteries, you can use Ectolife growth pods at the comfort of your home, allowing you to incubate your baby in your building without the need to visit our factory. By owning your special growth pod, you will have the ability to build a happy family, one baby at a time, away from any birth complications. The concept of Ectolife facility was designed by biotechnologist and science communicator Hashem al -Ghaili. It relies on groundbreaking research work that has been conducted by scientists and engineers since 1950s. Tired of waiting for a response from an adoption agency? Unable to find a suitable surrogate mother? I just wanted to play it to that part because they said it real quick. But, you know, people see stuff and they jump out the window. I mean, they literally said it's a concept. So um, it's something that, you know, that they're working on, but it's not public. That's basically what the concept is. You know, they got um, the research. They probably even get some of the equipment. And like I said, they just not telling us publicly, but it, it's probably been going on already. And if it's not, <laughs> the way they just delivered it is basically to condition and desensitize you. So when it do come out, 
you not um, shock and it's to see and to gauge the temperature of the people you know um, seeing how people react you know it's gonna be some people who um, you know some people some women can't have children so for them to have the experience yeah they're gonna be down then you know it's, it's uh, couples that you know um, can't have children but you know, like same-sex couples. So this is ideal for them too. So it's gonna be groups of people who say yay, and then it's gonna be groups of people who say no, nah, because it's not natural. You know. Um, so, but they, this is this is how things um, begin. You know, it is just a concept as of right now. Uh, no, nah, it's not um, something that. Um, it's not something that's that's currently publicly in the works but like i said a lot of stuff um technology that we get um they had it for like 10 15 years before they give it to the public so it could be elites um using this and i ain't gonna get into no conspiracy theories but um you see here on fact check um, that they, they literally said is a concept. Even in the video, they said it's a concept. But people don't, um, they see stuff and then run with it. You know, they can turn anything into a topic. You know, but then if some people hear it and won't go back and research it um, enough to see. So that's another reason why, you know, I was bringing this video um, because, but also, um, I want you to know, even though it's a concept and it's not, currently publicly being done that don't mean they ain't doing it i mean like i said those robotic dogs they're using in la they had those 10 years ago you know they and the technology the ones that they have ain't even a top tier um not from what i've seen so uh <laughs> it's a lot of stuff uh stuff that things like this are done to condition you just like uh movies you know we done seen movies from the 80s where people had cell phones or devices like we do now you know even introducing um the normality of like lgbtq you know that was done in movies in the past to condition you to make it normal when it do happen um war you know um they get you they they produce these movies with violence so and every day when we see it we look at it as normal you know we don't look at it as like this is some this shouldn't be going on this is crazy no we look at it as it's normal and that's because we've been conditioned you know, we see stuff repetitively, it becomes a, a norm, it becomes normal, just like a habit. If you continuously do something, it becomes a habit or routine, it becomes part of the behavior. So watching and seeing um, violence now is it, it's become normal behavior. But that that's in my opinion, um, just my opinion, fair use YouTube. But just my opinion, that's, that's what this is. It's trying to get you conditioned and comfortable. Um, but there's a lot of problems with this. Um, because like I said, not only are you um, taking away the bonding experience, but you also... Uh, hold on one second. Hey, when I'm on my computer, there you go. I'll be having problems finding the... What up, though? Can you hear me? His mic muted. But yeah, so um, it, it's basically a form of conditioning, getting us um, used to the idea that they can produce life without women. And there's a whole bunch of problems with that. Like I said, not only the bonding experience, but the overall um, need for a woman. I mean, I'm sorry, this is just my opinion, but I think society is devaluing women and they try to find more and more ways uh, to eliminate the need of a woman. 
and I, that's that's evil that's living backwards i mean as a woman the feminine energy is part of creation you know it's the nurturing factor of, of life and when we devalue and now they're trying to find ways to get rid of women like that's all this is that, that's just my opinion you know but i mean what else can you call it I, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call a spade a spade. You know, you're trying to take um, the gift of birth from women. So, in today's society, uh, the, the way women are devalued, what are if you take away reproduction, then what do you really need a woman for? You know, you already said that. Um, we can teach kids and nurture kids in facilities or schools. We don't need the woman at home doing it. So now you put her in the workforce. You know, that not saying women shouldn't go out and work, but I'm saying you, that was a ploy. You know, then you, uh, you take away reproduction. But first you, you turn the woman into a sex symbol. You know, you purposely made women um, I'm gonna remove this one. You still there? Yo, yo, what up, though? You came up twice. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just, uh, just got finished with something. But I got some, I got some questions for you now. Right. So, but I'm gonna let you go ahead and finish, finish doing your thing. Oh no! I'm just saying, like uh, they, they, in my opinion, they, they trying to. I mean, first they devalued the women and turned them, um, turned the value of a woman almost not. All, I mean, not. I'm not saying this is all women are worth. I'm, I'm saying the way society projects um, mm -hmm. imagery of women, simply not even the homemaker no more. You know, they use women to show sex. So, I mean, you got the, now they got the dolls. Not only do they get dolls, they have robotic sex dolls. So now you, <laughs> so now you look at, now you have created that. So what do you need the woman for? Reproduction. And now they come up with something like this. So now, I mean, first you, you basically try to um, paint the woman simply as a, a, a you know, for sex, yeah. you know, I mean, I mean, I'm just saying the way society projects it. So you said a woman is basically only good for sex. Then you create these dolls. Now they robotic dolls. And now you're creating pods to create babies, artificial birth. So like, what do you need the woman for? That's, it's just my opinion. You know, I mean, I, I call a spade a spade. Uh, not even trying to intellectually think what's going on, but I'm just looking at it for what it is. You're taking everything that women personify and you're making it artificial. And then you're trying to make it seem like, okay, look, when you have sex and, and reproduce with a woman, you can't determine if your baby's eyes are blue, hair is black. You can't determine. That. But if we do it and we use your DNA, so is your child, you can have whatever you want. They literally even said um, the intelligence level and the strength. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So they, yeah. And then just being able not to just have it at the factory, but now you can have it at home. It's like, that's what I'm saying. It, they conditioning you to this idea that this is, it's a better way. <laughs> you know, it's kind of interesting because money, she, she put it right on the head. She was like, this kind of reminds you of iRobot. It's like, at this point, you pretty much try from looking at the video at some point you trying to eliminate humans and make it more ai friendly and then i start getting me to think about you know what was the reason for elon musk to purchase twitter like it's it's stories and rumors going around the reason why elon musk bought twitter was to get the um the ai side of things now to get this going a little bit more and it's just like man i can't imagine a world where you can you know basically put your seed in an incubator and it's, it's, it's birthing a baby I, I just can't see i can see it but i can't see it if that makes sense 
to have a soul, you have to come through a womb. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what are you creating? Soulless people. You're creating, <laughs> when you say I robot, that's what you're creating. Mm -hmm. They can determine the strength. In a way. But this is what I'm saying. If they can determine the strength, the the intelligence, they can they can determine all this. Do you think there's not um, something else they put in there? Yeah, it's like you know, you're making a superhuman like when <laughs> you can control. That's all they they're making people easier to control. Like when people think of robots, we literally think of robots, but that's not no. Humans right now are robots. Mm -hmm. You most humans are 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 controlled uh, through devices. Look at like social media. Even what we on people got their phones in their hand or something. They are listening to it. All, all this stuff is uh, social engineering. But it's still people who push back and to take over or to take control of, of a mass group of people. Um, just like they did with the education system. If you research the whole education system, you'll see how uh, that was basically um, to create a working class of people, but they started with the youth. You know, they created school systems um, to teach kids basically how to be better workers. I mean, you look at the history of school systems, and you'll see that it's clear as day. Um, so now what they're doing is creating uh, humans who are, like I said, soulless, basically. You have no soul if you don't come through the womb. That's just natural. So now you're creating uh, these humans who you can easily control. They are robots now. I mean, they control us now just with devices, with social media. We, most people don't even think for themselves. If you want to know um, what a word is or how to spell a word that you don't know, you just type it in your phone and spell it for you. You don't have to go to a dictionary and learn how to spell it. So next time you need it, it's there. So now people don't even care about spelling words or knowing how to spell words because the phone do it, just like navigating. I remember when I used to travel from north to south from here to Georgia, we used to have to use a map. Now we got a GPS that just tell us to turn when it, when it's time to turn. We don't do nothing for ourselves no more. Man, we already we already control. We depend on the devices. So now it make me want you to, if it's possible, could you take a poll and and, and see how many people still remember phone numbers. I mean, how I many people still remember? I remember I remember my wife's, I remember mine, I remember my mom's, I remember one of my sister's phone numbers. Um, that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I like I'm guilty of it. So I'm telling you from experience. I noticed it when I did it one day. I'm like, hold on, man, I know how to we just going back to Pennsylvania. I'm like, I know the route. You know, why am I putting this in the GPS? I was so accustomed to doing it. Mm-hmm. That's so how they, but that's how they get you though. Like they make it so easy, and it's like you get sucked in. Like okay, well, you know, I remember it was a point in time. Even though I know it kind of sound crazy for me to be twenty five, but I remember when it was a point in time you used to watch the news. Now you can go, hey, sorry, what's the news today? <laughs> she tells you the news. I'm I'm about to use something I was just teasing you about yes, uh, the other day. I remember a time when you actually got up and turned your own goddamn lights on and off by a switch. <laughs> I remember that time back in the day, you know, when you used to have to get up when the lights was on and, and turn it off by the switch. Now I just hear people, you and my sister guilty, because I hear her too, Alexa, turn the light out. Like, y'all lazy. <laughs> You know, hey, now, what, what did I say? Next day, you will be saying, Alexa, make me a cheeseburger. Hey, look, you got you got little, look, you got little ones when they in a room, it's easy to sit in the other room and say, Look, turn this off, turn that off, and I can that, save on my late bill. That's the thing, though. Think about that. I'm, I'm gonna break it down like this, okay? Like you just said, it's easy. 
that's how they get you that's the whole trick they try to make your life easier the easier they make your life the easier it is for them to control your life that's how they get you bro i'm just being real that's how they get you that's 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 the whole and the easier they make things the more they go draw people into and then you will get so accustomed to doing things their way and they gonna control that they take it away from you what you will do you ain't gonna know what to do like i said like i said if they if they make everything digital right yeah. And something happened, the solar flare hit the earth and wipe all digital things out. You screwed. Don't nobody know nothing. Don't nobody know how to navigate no more. That's true. Don't nobody know how to farm no more. Don't nobody know how to fit. They made everything easy. We used to have to go hunt and gather for food. Now we don't. Hunting and gathering is getting in the car, going to the store. You know, a lot of people don't know how to hunt. They don't know how to grow crops. So if something happened and you don't have these luxuries no more, what are you going to do? You're going to have to bend down and bow down to the people who do. The people who control all that. <laughs> that that's facts. Cause that's just what it is. I, I mean, yeah. that's just what it is. I mean, that's not even facts. That's reality. I mean, a lot of people don't see it or just tend to ignore it. Or just say that's just the way it is. That's why, why you think I still practice like old school things, bro? That's fair. Because I got to teach my kid. Because you never know, like I said, what's given can be taken away. Yeah. What you can't take away is what you did not give, though. That's the whole thing. <laughs> That's what people don't understand. You know, what's given can be taken away, but what can't be taken away is what's not given, what is obtained. You know, what do you know? Can't nobody take away what's in your head. That's true. 